Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today, I'm going to show you how we can include a video in your web page using HTML. All right, let's get started, everybody. In this example, you'll need a video file of one of a few formats. You can use either an MP4 file, WebM, or Vorbis OGG. I just so happen to have an MP4 file of me playing that new Zelda game, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is just some sample footage. Once you have your video file, you're going to take it and place it right next to your index file within your website folder. To include a video, you'll need a pair of video tags. Within the opening video tag, we can set a source attribute to be either the relative file path or the absolute file path of that video. These two files are right next to each other. I only need the file name. My file is zelda.mp4, and there's my video, but it's humongous. We can change the height and or the width. Let's change the width to be 500 pixels. That's a good size. The height will adjust accordingly, or vice versa. If I were to change the height to be 500, then the width is going to adjust accordingly. But let's keep it as 500. Here's our video, but there's no way to play it we'll need to add a set of controls with the controls attribute. Now we can play the video. To have this video autoplay when the page loads, you can set the autoplay property. It should play automatically, but if it is set to autoplay, you should at least mute it because people can find it annoying, especially if this video is loud. Let's add the muted attribute. So now it autoplays and it's muted. To have this video loop when it's done, let me fast forward to the end. I can add the loop attribute. Now it should loop when it reaches the end. Right about here. Yeah, and it's back to the beginning again. Just in case somebody's web browser doesn't support this video file, you can add backups. I also happen to have a WebM version of the same video. I'll place it within my website folder. Then within the pair of video tags, we will add a source element. Take our source attribute, cut it, then paste it within the source element. You can keep all the attributes within the opening video tag. You should also tell the web browser what type of video file this is video slash mp4. Now to include a backup, we just need to use the source element again. As a backup, in case a web browser can't play my mp4 file, we'll instead use the webm version. Zelda.webm. The type is webm. Alright, so let me delete the mp4 version to test it. Let's save and reload everything. And now my WebM version is playing. You can't really tell the difference. You also have the capability of turning this video into a hyperlink. I will surround my video element with a pair of A tags. Then I will set the href attribute to some URL. I'll set it to be the Wikipedia page for Zelda. Feel free to pick any page of your choosing. With the href attribute, I will paste that URL. Now when I click on this video, it should bring me to the Legend of Zelda Wikipedia page. To open this link, I get it, link, because it's Legend of Zelda. Anyways, to open this link in a new tab, I can set the target attribute to be underscore blank. Then it should open in a new tab which it does. All right, everybody. So that's how to include a video in your web page using HTML.